What's up, YouTube? Well, welcome back. It's been a long time, I feel like, since we've actually made any progress on the C10. Uh, winter time has been kind of crazy with working and everything, so trying to get out here, trying to make some progress before car show season starts because winter is about over with and uh, Phoenix isn't ready. So today we are working on cab corners and rockers, hopefully. I've already started on the passenger side. We got the bed off. Just chilling over there. Uh, truck's kind of blocked up so that way it sits at a workable height. Got the cab corner kind of placed on there. I cut uh, this piece. Where's that? No. There we go. That piece is on there, but it was hard to actually get the panel in place, so I cut that off. Uh, aftermarket metal is always shit. Just remember that. You are not just, just gonna cut the bad piece out, put the new piece in. You are gonna have fitment. So, I got sheet metal screw here, sheet metal screw over there. That way, this bottom right here lines up with the factory body line. But over here, come on, get. But over here, you can see that, you can see there's this gap. So what we're going to do is take our cutoff wheel and cut along this and get rid of extra little metal right there. Move this back over, spot, well, we'll put a couple tacks in this so it looks factory-ish and then we'll hopefully try to get that. But we're not putting this whole panel in. Uh, right here is solid metal so I think about right here or so is where we're actually going to cut. What you want to do is you want to cut both pieces of metal at the same time to get your gap right there. And we'll just go like that. Well, probably a little bit higher because I had a mark back here, but it's back here. Uh, our outer rocker is just chilling there. We got a couple self tappers holding it where I want it to be. But there is that piece right there goes under the bottom hinge and to get the door off i have to disconnect it from the body and to get to that all that sheet metal up there has to come off i tried tried going through and taking bolts out of the doors and i snapped a bolt down here there's two bolts on this hinge and after snapping one oh okay so there's supposed to be three bolts but i snapped one and there's one missing so i don't know about that but I figured I'm done messing with that. I do not want to snap off bolts because I do not want to weld doors on. But we're gonna go ahead and start fitting this panel.
The whole top is all burned in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and slice this and move this in to where it's supposed to be, and then weld everything up. For these two holes that were covered in bondo, what I'm probably gonna do is one of the little pieces that we cut off, clean it all up, and I'm just gonna weld it on the back side, fill it in, and not have a hole there. I don't know why anybody thought that was a good idea to drill holes and just fill them full of bondo, but some people's kids. Now we're gonna take our little filler piece, put a little bend on it. I'm gonna cut off what we don't need and just put one piece back there, like that. And fill that in with weld, sand it down, and we're done with this one. Oh, well, I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the... Ugh, you guys are stuck. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the finished stuff, but you get the point. We're gonna go ahead, well, we're not doing this yet because I need to get the front clip and door off. But I'll go ahead, I'm gonna put a couple tacks back here. Clean all that up, get these filled in. All this back here needs to be cleaned up and that'll be done. But you wanna make sure that you're not just running beads because beads are gonna make your panels warp and you don't want your sheet metal to warp. So make sure you space out your tacks, don't get your panel too hot and you'll not create too much work for yourself. on this truck. See you on the next one.